All right, when you start, make sure that the green screen clip is on top of your original clip. Right, select the green screen clip, go to open effects and fill in 3D. You will see a 3D keyer. You need to drag it on top of the top clip. And now we need to get rid of this green. We can do so by making sure that this is selected. So the first one, and we need to change this to the open effects overlay. That way we can draw over this screen and now you see the clip that's beneath it. But it still doesn't look good because we need to match it with the clip. Now this is made with 3D, so I'm going to make this look 3D as well. First, we're going to increase the despill. That will make sure that this blends in more nicely. And I want to make sure that this has the right setting. So I'm going to change the zoom and the position like so. But now if we play it, this clip still doesn't really match with the rest of the clip. However, I do have an idea how we can do that. So if we go to the color page, we can select the first clip. And then on this clip, we click with the right mouse button and we click shot match to this clip. Now DaVinci is doing its magic, but this is way too dark. So let's increase the lift and let's go back to the edit tab because there's one more thing that I would like to do. And that is add in some scan lines. So I'm going to drag those on top of this clip and we're going to change the line frequency. We're going to increase that so that the lines look a lot better. We're going to decrease the line sharpness. And now if we play this back, that looks much, much more natural and matches with the clip around it. I hope you guys found this valuable. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.